Should you be concerned about the fat content and whey? Are cholesterol levels in whey protein something that you should be paying attention to? My name is Maya Valenti. I'm a professional chef and nutrition coach, and I'm here to answer all of your questions. There's a lot of good stuff in whey protein supplements, not just protein, but thanks to those other components, sometimes concerns or misconceptions tend to pop up. Let's take a closer look at the fats in whey and see how these can influence your cholesterol levels. What is whey protein? Well, milk contains two types of protein, whey and casein. When milk or milk products separate, there is a fatty portion that's used to make cheese and a liquid portion that contains whey. The whey is either discarded or processed further to make whey protein powder. There are actually several types of whey protein. Whey concentrate is the most common, mostly because it's the cheapest and it has the best taste. Whey isolate is pretty common too. It has less fat and lactose, making it easier to digest for some people. This is the type of protein most often used for research. But does whey protein raise or lower cholesterol? Whey concentrate, the most common type of whey protein, is higher in fat compared to other types of protein. Therefore, there has been some concern that taking whey protein on a regular basis could increase cholesterol. However, research shows that the opposite is actually true. There are two main types of cholesterol, LDL and HDL. LDL is often called bad cholesterol as it increases the risk for heart disease. On the other hand, HDL or good cholesterol removes cholesterol from the blood. Many studies show that whey protein decreases LDL and increases HDL. Whey protein also contains lactoferrin, which may block LDL from oxidizing and hardening the arteries. Whey concentrate is usually about 70% protein with considerable levels of natural sugar and fats, while whey isolate is processed further to increase the protein content to 90% and dramatically decreasing the amount of sugar and fat. People assume that the difference in fat and sugar makes whey isolate a more cholesterol-friendly option. However, it depends on the type of fat that that whey contains. Whey protein that contains more polyunsaturated fats will have a stronger positive impact on cholesterol. Whey concentrate is also higher in beneficial substances like lactoferrin. But what about the quality of the protein? Are there benefits of grass-fed whey protein? A cow's diet strongly impacts the nutritional quality of whey protein. Vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fat compositions all depend on what that cow ate. Grass-fed whey protein comes from cows that ate grass. This is the most healthy, high-quality protein that you can buy because it's packed with the most nutrition. It's also the best for the environment. Grass-fed whey protein contains all nine essential amino acids, immune-boosting compounds, more heart-healthy fat, and less saturated fat. If cholesterol is a concern, grass-fed whey is the way to go because it provides a higher amount of heart healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids, studies show that using whey protein, especially grass-fed whey, actually improves cholesterol levels. But will whey protein make you gain weight? Well, you need to be in a calorie surplus to gain weight. That means that if the whey protein that you're consuming causes you your total daily calorie intake to be more than you're burning, you will gain weight over time. Just like any excess calories from any food will make you gain weight. It is common for people who want to build muscle mass to use whey protein as a part of their calorie surplus to intentionally gain weight. Building muscle means that you're adding mass, which is going to require more calories and protein. But depending on the amount of whey protein you're consuming, it can also help you lose weight as long as you're operating in an overall calorie deficit. Protein shakes and smoothies are relatively low in calories compared to regular snacks, but they also increase a sense of satiety by helping you feel full for longer. Whey protein can promote stable energy levels and prevent cravings for unhealthy snacks, which can help you better manage your weight. The amount of protein that you need every day, well, it depends on your body composition, your activity levels, and your specific goals. Here's a basic guide to help you figure out how much protein you need. For fat loss, 1.3 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Muscle gaining, 1.4 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And for maintenance, 0.08 to 1.2 
1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. One serving of whey protein typically provides 20 to 30 grams of protein, depending on the brand. Naked whey provides 25 grams per two scoop serving. Whey protein and its many benefits is a popular subject for continued research. Although it is higher in fat than other types of protein, many studies show us that whey protein lowers that bad cholesterol and increases that good cholesterol. And remember to always reach for high quality supplements and avoid fillers or chemicals when looking for whey protein option. To learn more about our whey protein and all of our other high quality protein options, check us out at makingnutrition.com. And make sure to subscribe for more in-depth breakdowns of all your favorite health and wellness topics because here at Naked Nutrition, we're nutrition with nothing to hide.